Okay, so this is this this is a part of the show that I've created called Which One Is Better? Okay. And what we're gonna do is is I'm just gonna list off some things and we might not have the same answers. We might have completely different answers, and we're basically gonna not debate, but we're gonna explain why, you know, why I choose this or why I choose that. Yeah. And it's just a it's a fun game to play. Yeah. The, uh, differences of opinion okay and I think it's also just fun because it comes up with funny things so yeah <laughs> the first what I have written down is Hailey Bieber or Selena Gomez <laughs> like it's so hard because recently I think everyone can like attest to this like I have gained so much respect for Justin Bieber like sure. just everything he went through as a kid and like being young and fame like I don't even have any fame and I can partially understand how like that can really absolutely. impact your life, yes, absolutely. especially at a young age. And I'm not even as young as what he was. And like just him recently, like he reaches out to younger influencers to help them. Like he's just so wise and mature after everything he's gone through. And like, he seems like he's in such a happy place with right. Haley that I'm like, I just want to be loyal to the beavers. Right. But I'm like, Selena's over here, like an icon who like right. wrote all these great songs about her breakup basically with Justin yep. Bieber like she's thriving she's on Wizards of Waverly Place like she was a she, part she of my also, childhood she also w you was at one point for the longest time the number one followed person on Instagram yeah which like, is like she, you better go with your bad self so it's like ah, I want to be I've but, also like, heard some terrible uh waitress stories about Haley, like terrible waitress stories about her and I'm like it. ooh, do you remember that on TikTok it was going around for a while this girl was like celebrities I've met and yeah. like what their rating was she gave Haley like a one and I was like I wonder if <laughs> that's so true bad. or just an option I hope if I'm ever at that level that I continue to treat people I think I I worked in like restaurants from like 11 to like 16 so like I just could never like, even if a waitress does something wrong, I'm just like, don't worry about it. It's all good. Yeah, and yeah, when yeah. they leave, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. like, I'm still so nice to their face. I know that job is just my note sucks, but I hope to always be kind to people that are right. in a lesser position than me. I, I think I kind of feel similar about them, but the one thing that makes me change my mind and makes me decide on one person is... Justin Bieber did Selena wrong. I mean, so wrong. That's true. Like, I mean, I know it's a young love, like whatever, but he yeah. did her dirty. Like we all thought Justin was going to end up with Selena. And then out of nowhere, he starts dating Haley. And we're like, what? This is just a little thing for a second, right? Yeah. And then gets married. And we're like, wait, you always belong with Selena. And I'm like, for that, I got Yeah, Selena. I feel like, Selena, like, you did like Selena wrong. Justin's over here with like a great life and a wife. All his yeah. songs are like happy, like mm -hmm. anyone. And it's like, Selena's still over here hurting. Like, yeah. <laughs> we got to be with our girl. Messed up. She's like, I thought I was going to be with this person forever. And when he was like in a dark place, she was the one with him. He mm -hmm. was reaching out to her and probably screwing with her emotions because she's like, oh, yeah. I have this guy that I love. And, and like, she basically stuff. stuck by his side through his yeah. tough times. And then now she that he's good. better so that he could date Haley. Yeah. It <laughs> was all effed up. She put him back together. And instead, yeah. of, instead of paying her back and being like, oh, I'm back together now, you know, let's be together because now yeah. I'm whole. He's like, no, peace. You fix me. <laughs> no thanks to you. I'm going to go to Haley. And I'm like, that's kind of effed up. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna go with Selena although yeah with Haley I still got mad for love for you and I don't believe that that waitress was right, right about you I think yeah. you're, you're very yeah. kind I bet you were just having a bad day yeah I bet it was yeah. just an off day for you and and you know we all have those sometimes yeah. <laughs> okay next one Charlie D'Amelio or Dixie D'Amelio I feel like just because I'm closer to Charlie's age, mm -hmm. I want to say Charlie. And, like, she does dance and all that. But right. I see so many things of Charlie getting, like, picked on for, like, the same yeah, things sad. that I'm insecure about. So, mm -hmm. like, I really stand with her being, like, my age and having to go through all of that. Yeah. And I know I'm also not really 100% sure what, like, Dixie does. Like, we all know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But I 
I, we all know Charlie dances. Like that's Charlie's thing. She got famous for dancing. Like I don't know what Dixie's thing is. No dance. <laughs> also, like I'm a little jealous that Dixie's dating Noah Beck. Oh, is she? And, like, you did. You haven't seen this? Like, no, I've some, seen it. I just didn't know his name. <laughs> no, stuff like some of the videos. It just seems like Noah is so head over heels for this girl, and Dixie's yeah. just kind of like, eh, like you yeah. know. I think when, like, that's Dixie's personality, though. Like, she seems, I think so. From, like, the, the few, like, YouTube videos I've seen of her, she seems like, like, the she used to do, like, motocross or something like that. She seems oh, like the, the, yeah, the sporty girl that, like, is just, like, one of the boys. And so then when she gets with the boy, she's kind of like, whatever. Like, yeah, it's cool that we're together, but, like, don't yeah. expect anything else. Like, kind of thing. Like, I think she just adds that, like... Yeah tomboy charm to her but yeah I do agree I'm like Dixie please let me write you a song like I've got some bangers for because you. like I didn't know Dixie released music until the sometimes I don't want to be happy right which that's um, a shout out to my girl Sam who wrote that <laughs> yeah um but like I've always known what Charlie's thing is yeah and I think Dixie built her platform and then got into her niche and was like, I like music. This is what I want to do. Well, also, Dixie's built platform was off of Charlie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like, no offense, I Dixie. Like, you know you put in the work, but come on. Yeah. We got, I got, I got to say Charlie. Yeah. I will say though, too, one thing that I have mad respect for for Dixie is, yeah, Charlie has like a built platform and it's huge. And I think she's now the number one person followed on TikTok, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like, kudos to you. Wow. Um, but. Dixie's route has a, a longer longevity than Charlie's mm-hmm. right now because yeah. the music industry has been around for forever. Mm-hmm. Social media in general is, is newer, but also TikTok is even newer. And, mm-hmm. and in terms of longevity, how long can you keep up doing dances? There's a time limit. Yeah. On, and respect you know? too, because she did, although she may have gotten a lot of her followers from her sister, like she still had to post her own content and like, she really said, okay, my sister's getting followers. How can I use right. this to my advantage right. yeah, exactly. to build my own brand? So like, Smart. That's like me with you. I'm like, Lauren's better than me, but yeah. I'm going to hop on that back real quick, piggyback. Yeah. <laughs> so in essence, we're saying, actually, what we should say is we're going Charlie, but who knows in two years, it might be yeah, Dixie. Yeah, it might be Dixie. It might be Dixie because Dixie does have a platform that has a longer longevity currently. Mm-hmm. Not to say that Charlie can't switch it up and surprise us, but we still, yeah. again, I always like to end this with a positive on each one for which one's better. We still love the both of you. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> this, this is this is just a devil's advocate game. That's just yeah, I love play. the whole Emilio family. Yeah, <laughs> we, we love all of you guys. Uh, we appreciate your spunk. And I, I've, I've seen your Gary Vee videos. And I appreciate your guys' spunk and your uh, F off attitude. I appreciate it. So you'll probably see this or not. Probably not. You probably won't see yeah. this. But if you do see it. Uh, In like three months, anyways. we're going to be like friends with dicks. We're going to be like, take the video down. <laughs> right, exactly. Like, hey, Lauren, uh, I'm deleting this video. We're now friends with her. Okay, bye. <laughs> Okay, this one's pretty easy. Uh, it's not music related, but I always like to do one that's like not people related because I feel like yeah. sometimes it feels like we're smashing on people, but we're not. Yeah. We're just having fun. Like, it'd be funny if somebody did me and Lauren and then somebody was like, yeah, definitely Lauren. She's more talented and yeah. better. And Gina just uses her following. <laughs> They'd probably be like, I don't know, Gina has like a cool edge, like how she dresses and like <laughs> just seems like Lauren's like lessons experienced and just like... <laughs> Yeah, aka they'd be like, uh, Gina's and, like older. Lauren, yeah, like Lauren said that mean thing to her on Idol like that one time. Like we're not really sure like if she's actually a nice person. Right. G- Gina's uh actually just uh decrepit and has one foot on a banana peel and the other in a grave. Yeah. So we just know Lauren's gonna be around longer, so we just yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this one is French fries or tater tots. I feel like you're gonna like hate me for my answer. What are you? You're gonna go basic, aren't you? You I'm a using basic. French fries. You a basic hoe. <laughs> I don't really like tater tots. Like I'll eat them. Like if you cook them up, and I, I believe you're a good cook. Like I'll eat them. 
but like We're, I'm about to hang up. I'm about I feel to like hang no, I feel like call. you did not just say tater tots or not. That I good think like in the states, it's more popular to have tater tots. Like that's not really a thing that serve. Like you guys can get them in like drive throughs and stuff like that. Like I don't Absolutely. have that. That's not an option. We we're fries only. Oh, we have you, you can't go to Burger King. You've never been to Burger King where they give uh, like tater like, tots burger, as the hash browns. We have like two Burger Kings on the whole island. Like we have like. I think at taco time you can get them, but I don't eat at taco time. Like, it's not really, like, an option. So I've always been – I'm a big poutine person, Canadian. Uh-huh. So, like, I've always poutine. been – always been, like, a fry She doesn't girl. like hater talk, but, like, poutine. What the frick is that? <laughs> First of all, I'm just going to make make the debate for a tater tot because a tater tot blows a French fry away. I mean, there's some French fries that are, like, dang, this French fry is, like, amazing. but consistently tater tots are more consistent and when somebody brings a tater tot out it's always crispy on the outside it's just right every single time french fries i just don't know if i don't like the way it's like shaped like i really like the long like like you know like tater tots give me like a weird energy like do i put 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 the whole thing in my (laughs) mouth do i bite half of it like it's just like this anxiety to eat it's so weird energy (laughs) <laughs> you see that top right there it's got a weird energy <laughs> oh my god that's so <laughs> it does it just like creeps me out like they're just like round and like weird Dude, it's like perfect when you open your mouth whoop, goes right in <laughs> i feel like that's too much at once and then i'm like oh <laughs> man you just haven't had the right top you haven't yeah, had like, I'm going to come to the States and eat them and be like, wow, hey, this head's different. Oh, my gosh. Like, French fries to me are so inconsistent. It's like you go to McDonald's, fire. You go to Chick-fil-A, chalky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're so different everywhere. Like, I definitely yeah. have my – we have this place called New York Fries where I live. Mm-hmm. I don't think you have that. Mm-hmm. Um, Like, slaps. Like, mm. the best – it's like a poutine place, but you can just get Ooh. fries, and it's like – I've never had, I don't want poutine anywhere else. Like yeah. the fries are so good. The gravy's so good. The cheese is so good. I'm trying to be dairy free, but the cheese is so good. <laughs> There's dairy and gravy too. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, uh, I mean, I'm look, I'm not opposed to a French fry. I love a good French fry. I just think t- when tater tots come out, like when it was like, I think back to when I was a kid and I think like, when mom came out with french fries and burgers, cool. But when mom came out with some tots, that was a night that slapped. <laughs> you put the Lowry season salt, that bit is ready to go. <laughs> like, That's like not something that like people buy. Like I don't go to someone's house and they're like making eggs and like breakfast. And it's not like, yo, like someone put the tater tots in. Like it's more like oh, full man. hash browns. I feel like we're going like... um uh u.s versus canada right now yeah <laughs> like who's gonna win everybody i mean we have below. gun laws so yeah everybody comment below uh we have gun laws <laughs> yeah but with all those school shootings oh my god we're not getting into this we're just taking a <laughs> talk <of> french fries <laughs> just saying <laughs> in terms of uh in terms of uh, potatoes potatoes we're talking about here uh I want to know one comment below where you're from and if you prefer fries or tater tots that's what I want to know yeah I want to find out and I please prove Lauren wrong everybody show up for the top show come through for the top <laughs> oh well that's mm-hmm. living like a G Lauren as per usual I'm always so thankful to have you on and I'm just gonna gas you up but you're seriously so talented and the best and you're such a good friend and you always support everybody around you which is so so nice you don't have to do that and you're way nice about it and I'm so I secretly get paid (laughs) (laughs) all these people I'd be gassing up yeah they pay me on the back but yeah I'm so lucky to have you as a friend and I'm so happy you came on and uh just had some good laughs with me yeah (laughs) all right guys that's living like a g please if you like this video share it to all of your friends tag lauren tag me in it do all of the things and we'll see you next week peace